what is that smell? Mm. Oh, smells like contract negotiations. Team, keep it clean. What is up, baby? It's in Greg Man with another video. Hey, you watching this right now? I love you. I love you so much. I really do. I love you so much, and I appreciate you. Know that. Know that. So, somebody else who we love and appreciate. Well, a lot of us. There's some people that really don't, but... It's Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson's been a quarterback for the Baltimore Ravens uh, for the past four and a half years. Um, they drafted him at the end of the first round in 2018. I mean, and, and y'all know the rest of the story. Uh, and there's been so many different parts and twists and turns of that story. But that's what it is. Lamar Jackson is right now is currently in contract negotiations with the Baltimore Ravens. And so many people are wondering, what is his next move going to be? What is the Baltimore Ravens next move going to be? What is going down next? So many people have looked at Instagram stories. And figured, all right, Lamar Jackson's staying. So many people have looked at media stories and figured, all right, Lamar Jackson's leaving. But the truth of the matter is this, that me, I don't know what's going to happen next. You, you don't know what's going to happen next. We, we just really don't know. We don't know what's going to go down with Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens next. We all have our theories. We all have our assumptions. We all have these things that we feel is, is, is going to happen with this whole thing. But we just really do not know. And I think one thing that's been driving a lot of people extra crazy is the fact that both sides have been very quiet on it. And when they do speak on it, it's something that's very vague. That's nothing too, nothing too extreme, uh, nothing too detailed. It's all very simple stuff. And again, that's the expectation from two sides that like keeping stuff on a hush hush with Lamar Jackson and his camp and the Baltimore Ravens. They like keeping stuff on a low. So we get it, and we're going to see what happens next. We just got to wait it out. But Jeremy Fowler, um, a couple days ago, uh, he wrote an article on ESPN.com, uh, and this part of the article uh, was called, Will Jackson Return to Baltimore? It says, quarterback Lamar Jackson's future was a convenient talking point in mobile, and most are in the same spot that they were six months ago. Most believe the Baltimore Ravens should place the exclusive franchise tag on Jackson and try to work out a long-term deal, knowing he's secured for one more year. So that's been something that a lot of us have expected for the Baltimore Ravens to put the franchise tag on Lamar Jackson, and that can buy them some more time figuring out exactly what they are going to do next. And that can buy them more time to figure out, hey, let's get Lamar Jackson signed to a long-term deal. Let's really try to work this thing out. Let's try to hammer these things out, hammer out the details of this contract, the guaranteed money, the years, all that good stuff. Or, on the other hand, it could buy them some more time. All right, we're trying to trade Lamar Jackson. Let's talk to these teams and figure out who can give us the best draft capital, maybe a player involved too. Is he going to go to the AFC? Is it going to be the NFC? What's going to go down? So that gives the Baltimore Ravens more time for whatever's going to happen. And if they're really undecided, then it gives them more time to come up with a decision. So no shockers there. Back to the article, he says, and if it becomes clear that reaching a new contract is next to impossible, the Ravens can entertain trade offers closer to the draft. So, yeah, we just covered that part. And with that, yeah, that's that would make sense, because if they're going to trade Lamar, they're going to want to trade him this year so they can get picks this year. Hopefully they don't they don't trade Lamar this year, but that is a huge possibility that they do trade Lamar this year so they can get that draft capital. Continuing, it says, uh, and it could become a standoff because I wouldn't expect him to sign a tag for a while. An AFC executive said, and they will be so far apart in the guaranteed money. Again, that's something that we've been talking about on here literally for years, for years. Ever since um, it became possible that the Ravens may not agree to a contract extension with Lamar Jackson before uh, his deal was up. I talked about it for a while on here that if it gets to the franchise tag, then I would expect things to get ugly, very ugly. I do not anticipate Lamar Jackson wanting to play on a franchise tag. Uh, I do not anticipate Lamar Jackson playing on a franchise tag. Um, so we'll see what happens. Anyway. Continuing with the article, uh, it says, yes. Oh, and real quick, the franchise tag, they have uh, some of the deadlines with it for March 7th. So a month from now, uh, March 7th is the deadline to apply the franchise tag, to designate a player as your franchise player, to, to apply the franchise tag to one player. Uh, but I want to say it's the middle of July is the deadline to where you can come up with a long term. You can reach a long term deal with that player. After the middle of July, you can't 
sign him to a contract extension. That's it. It's just franchise tag for the year. That's why so many players, they hate it. They hate it because it's a one-year deal, and it's all guaranteed, which is great. But something goes wrong. Something happens. It's like your, your future is not taken care of. So, But anyway, um, back to the article. It says, yes, Baltimore and Jackson, Lamar Jackson, of course, could possibly be $100 million apart there, a massive gap to bridge. So with that part, that, that, that's a lot of money. But he did leave some leeway in there because he said uh, they could possibly be $100 million apart there. So he didn't make it a concrete thing that they are $100 million apart. He said they could possibly be $100 million apart. See, what I took from that is think about this. Like if they $100 million is a lot of money, obviously. And if you that far apart in contract talks, <laughs> it ain't looking good. Um, but even if. Even if that's not the exact number of how far apart they are, if you take that number and split it in half, how much is that? It's 50 mil. That's still a significant amount of money to be far apart on. It still is. So it, my thinking is for this, if, with the, when there's smoke, oh, it, it's, it's probably some fire burning there somewhere. It probably is. Again, is it $100 million? We don't know. Like I said earlier, there's so much stuff that we just really do not know. We don't know. But with this article, with this part of the article, even if it's half of that amount, 50 mil, that would still be a lot of money to be far apart. Even if you take the 50 mil and split that in half, if, even if it's 25 mil apart that they are, that's still a lot of money. That's significant money. Even if you split, the, well, if you split that in half, what that's uh, 12.5 mil, I think. I think it's 12.5 mil. Whatever it is. That wouldn't be as significant as the other ones, but you get what I'm saying. Um, so that's 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 a big number, and, and this is potentially a really big number to be far apart uh, at. But hey, again, you got time. You got time. If you really want to be technical, yeah, you got till the middle of July to get this thing worked out. That that's your ultimate deadline. But so much depends on what you really want to do, what you really want to make happen. Are you trying to sign him to a long-term deal? Are you truly trying to sign him to a long-term deal? Or are you planning on trading him? Are you like, you know what, whatever. We ain't, nope, we ain't gonna make this happen. And we're not trying to either. It, it, what is your goal? So that's just something that we, we don't truly know. Uh, back to the article. It said, those trade calls are coming. Uh, I don't get the sense that that process has heated up, in part because teams are assuming Jackson will be tagged. It's still very early on this one. Yes. It certainly is. And I think um, to assume that Lamar Jackson will be franchise tagged, that would be a wise assumption and one that a lot of us, we, we feel the exact same way on. Um, but it's one of those things that we just got to wait it out and see. And then the last part of the article is something that I think a lot of Ravens fans, I feel like we kind of see it coming. Um, it's like one of those. Anyway, let me just read it. It says, elsewhere, the Ravens typically don't take big swings at wide receiver and free agency, as we know. Uh, but I talked to a few coaches in mobile who think Baltimore should add a pass catcher in large part because it's top two wideouts. Rashad Bateman and Devin Duvernay are coming off injury. That part I disagree with. I don't think you should take a, a take a, a swing at a pass catcher because of, of their injuries. That's like way at the bottom of the list for me. My, I think you should so you can diversify your offense. But anyway, uh, he said the Ravens need fresh legs and a do it all wide receiver. Sounds nice, right? And he says, like Alan Lazard would be a fit. So, I mean, again, Alan Lazard wouldn't be bad. Um, but I just, um, I feel like that's, th that is such a Ravens move, a receiver like Alan Lazard. So, we'll see. We'll see. I think I saw something yesterday. I don't know how true it was or not that said he's looking to get paid around like 15 to 17 mil per year. <laughs> All right, Alan, if, if that's what you're trying to get paid You sir will not Be a raven You will not You you could The ravens could fly you out Take you to Jimmy's like they do Hey you, you want some crab cakes You want some crab cakes buddy You want crab cakes How, how about it you could, They could do all of that But when you tell them how much you want And if that's a number <laughs> You better put them crab cakes in a to-go box Because it ain't happening that contract, it definitely ain't have not multiple for a receiver 50. A, please, you know that ain't going down. Uh, but anyway, shout out to uh, shout out to Lamar 
And shout out to the Ravens too. We we gonna, we gonna see how this thing ends up, man. It's it's crazy, man. But anyway, hope y'all enjoying the Pro Bowl. Um, I I haven't watched it at all. So I I watched the clip of that video from a couple of days ago where they were doing a little throwing challenge and Snoop he did his thing. Um, but I have not watched not one second of the Pro Bowl. I thought I was in support of my guy Snoop. I know Mark Andrews there, Justin Tucker. I know Marlon Humphrey. There. I've been seeing little updates on Twitter and stuff, but I have not tuned in not one second. And I probably won't. But I still love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I, I'm, I'm tuned in with y'all, and I love y'all, and I rock with y'all, man. So, like I said earlier at the beginning of this video, thank you. You, right, you, right there. Thank you. I love you, and I appreciate you. We out.